guys, now we are in Klingerman's Dome, uh, Smoky Mountains, and we're going to go on a Cub Scout Eric adventure hike. And so they call this the Smoky Mountains because, like, how I think of it is, like, how, like, clouds are getting off of, like, mountains. I think of it like smoke. So, guys, before you go on the trail, there's a National Park store that you guys can go to. So let's get hiking. So, guys, this is a paved trail walking up to the, tra up the trail. So guys, rest in peace. This is another animal but we, that we found, but he wasn't alive. So guys, we there's different type of trails you can walk on. There's like an asphalt trail, uh, which I'm sitting on right now, and then there's a dirt trail. And there's rock trails. Walking up the trail, you can get really ex exhausted. This hike is really steep, and you guys take as much breaks as you need to. Uh, I eat steady and slow wins thrice, so I decided to just rest on this old tree. So we just finished climbing the um, big mountain, and now we're gonna climb the man-made structure. So guys, follow me up the trail. It was worth the hike. So look at the beautiful view. So guys, we stayed at the Smoky Mountain Scatlingburg, uh, Tennessee, and so we are on a trail, and there's a bunch of like trees that are here. Some are dead and some are like pine cones. And then we saw a bunch of like wildlife animals. We saw like elks, we saw like 59 elks. Like there was a bunch of them in one field. And then we saw a bunch of bears. There one, like there one time uh, we were on the road and then there was a bunch of people there. So we like got out and then we just like looked at it. And there was like a bear. They're really far away. There was a mom bear and three cubs and two of them were so tiny and they started climbing the tree. And then we saw these another baby bear just like walking through the fields. And we also saw a um, groundhog. Oh, there he is. They're so tiny and they're just like, I'm going. Guys, let's head down the trail. You guys even get other pretty views from other parts of the trail. So I want to ask you, like, what the Okay, well, look, these are almost all no. Fraser firs in here. And the reason some of them are dead is because we have a non native invader here called the Balsam Woolly Adelgid. It's a little bitty beetle that was introduced into the park in 1960 by accident. And the other problem we have with them is we catch a lot of the acid rain from the power plants in the Midwest and Northeast here. So we have two problems with the trees up there. So, so, do they just like. Uh, like the they do. They're actually a little tiny thing. That they're airborne. They blow from tree to tree. They actually drill a hole into the bar and they suck out the nutrients out of the tree and let into the invaders in. But we have folks doing research on it, so maybe when you come back in 20 years, they'll have a solution. To it. The fir trees in Europe have a natural immunity to it. The fir trees on the West Coast have a natural immunity to it. Okay. You guys can even climb rocks. I'm the king of the world. <gasps> guys, we found these really cool like hiking sticks there in the car by one of their uncles. Uh, they look awesome. Uh, this one is called the Green Gobbler. Uh, this one looks really cool. It has like a snake. Cool. 